In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to recover our aircraft from a basic store. So, what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at how to recover our aircraft using without power and with the use of power, noting our height loss, and we'll also look at our symptoms of an approaching stall. So prior to a stall, we carry out what is called our hazel checks. So, height, making sure that we're above 3000 feet AGL, aircraft configuration, ensuring that our aircraft will be conducting in the clean configuration. Security check, hatches and harness secure, security locked and started away. Engines, so depending on different aircraft, so what we're going to be checking is mixture, is full rich, car peat cycle if required, fuel pump on, and fuel tank selected at the appropriate tank. Location, we'll clear populated areas and we'll conduct a 180 degree clearing turn. Okay, so we're making sure that we're clear, we're free from, we're clear from traffic. All right. So before we get underway, we first pick a reference point to keep straight of, and we've selected our nominated altitude, and that will be 5,000 feet. Okay. So first, we want to smoothly reduce the power back to idle, keeping straight with rudder. Okay. At the same time, I want to increase the back pressure on the control column to maintain my height. So looking at the symptoms of an approaching storm, we've got a high nose attitude, low and reducing airspeed, the controls become less effective, we've got a quieter cockpit, shortly you'll hear the stall warning followed by the buffet. So we want to progressively raise the nose to maintain our height until we've got no more elevator authority. There's the stall, so there's the stall, so I'm checking for, so recovering, so checking forward, allow our airspeed to increase, raise the nose on the horizon, and increase power, keeping straight with, uh, with rudder. So note, we lost about 300 feet in the descent without power. Okay, right. Now we're going to do a basic store, and but we're going to recover with power this time. Okay, so assuming we've done the hazel checks, I'll just make a 180 degree turn to the left again, making sure we're clear of traffic. Okay, so, right, once again, picking a reference point in the distance to keep straight, and I've selected my nominated altitude of 5,000 feet. Once again, I'm smoothly reducing the power back to idle, keeping straight with radar. Increasing the back pressure on the control column to maintain my height. So once again we're going to recover the aircraft at the stall, so I'm going to check forward, simultaneously increase power and keeping straight with the rudder. There's the stall, so checking forward, full power, once unstalled, raise the nose on the horizon and regain loss of height. And that concludes our lesson for 
How to recover an aircraft from a basic storm. In this presentation, we're going to look at how to recover our aircraft from the approach configuration. Now, a situation that might occur is when a student is, is just at the early stages of flying in the circuit, and of course they're now turning towards finals, and they've realized that they're low on approach. As a result, there's a higher tendency for the student to want to pitch the nose up without increasing power, leading the aircraft to a higher degree to an approaching stall. So, in this lesson, what we're going to do is I'm going to set the aircraft in the, in the approach stall and recover, how to recover the aircraft in this situation. So I'm just going to fly the aircraft like a normal approach. So I've realised now that I'm getting low and I'm going to pitch the nose up. Okay, so there's the aircraft stall, so I'm going to check forward, full power, keeping straight with the rudder. Set the nose just on the horizon, ensuring that we've got a positive increase in airspeed, positive rate of climb. I'm going to raise flaps and stages, and I'm going to carry out the go around procedure. So I'm going to raise the flaps and stages, maintaining my best rate of climb of 80 knots. And reposition my aircraft to on the dead side of the runway. keeping a good visual contact of the runway on the ground. So that concludes our lesson on how to recover our aircraft from a basic store approach configuration.